Мы с ним ебались. Вешали эту хуйню и поняли, что выхода нет. Obvious reasons Russia has not released much, if any, information about what comprises their formidable defense lines in the Zaporizhia region in southern Ukraine. And these are the same defensive lines that are halting this NATO-trained Ukrainian counter-offensive. So New York Times did an excellent piece entitled 21 Miles of Obstacles, and they were shedding light on the complex layers of defenses that the Ukrainian army will have to penetrate to reach their goal, whether stated or not, of severing the land bridge and reaching the Sea of Azov. But firstly, the former chief of Estonian intelligence, Reina Sachs, I believe his name is, essentially stated that the Russian defensive priority is in the south of Ukraine as opposed to the north, and the dubbed Suruvikin defensive line has actually three belts or three layers, and the third line, which the Ukrainians are still very far from, is in fact the strongest defensive line. And it is this def third defensive line that is called the Saruvikin line. So I'll read to you the Estonian intelligence officer's post now. So the former chief of Estonia's foreign intelligence, Reina Sachs, believes that the Ukrainians' counteroffensive attempts have failed due to Russia's large number of defenses and air superiority. And he says in quotations, the Russians have built long defensive lines along the entire front with the fewest defensive lines in the north. Russia considers it very important to keep the southern part in its hands. That is why more defense lines have been built there. Russia has built several lines of defense in the southern sector of the special military operation, and the strongest of them is the third, so-called Soruvikin line, which the Ukrainian armed forces have not even reached. So who is General Soruvikin? Well, he's the commander of the aerospace forces in Russia, he was very pivotal in the Russian war in Syria and was responsible for the air campaign that led to the recapturing of thousands of kilometers of territory by the Russian back Assad regime. He was also the commander who took charge of the Russian army in Ukraine uh, around the time of Ukraine's fall offenses. And he was responsible for not only shoring up the defense lines in the south, but he orchestrated the very effective missile campaign uh, late last year that struck or took out about 50% of Ukraine's energy infrastructure. But what wasn't reported was that this air campaign also targeted Ukraine's air defense. And we now see both from the revelations of the leaked documents, the Pentagon leaked documents, as well as what is occurring on the battlefield. And I made a video about it. You can get the link in the top right hand corner of the screen that Ukraine's defense, air defense is seriously degraded to the extent that Russia now has air superiority, particularly on the front lines, and their Sukhoi 35s and Air Force roam fairly uninhibited in southern southeast Ukraine. So despite scant reports about what comprises the Saruvikin defense line, we have a brief report from Russian Sputnik media outlet, which has this to say. For reasons that should be clear, the Russian military hasn't exactly rushed to provide details about the exact makeup of its defensive positions. However, media reports and analysis indicate that the defensive lines consist of a complex, multi-layered network of infantry trenches, anti-personnel and anti-tank minefields, anti-tank dragon's teeth, meter-tall concrete structures designed to slow the advance of enemy armor, as well as elevated earthen berms to shield military equipment. These defensive lines, which run nearly 2,000 kilometers through Kherson and Zaporizhia, as well as Crimea, Donetsk, Luhansk, and Russian regions bordering Ukraine to the north, are partially visible to military planners in Kiev, thanks to the armada of NATO satellites tracking the situation on the battlefield. But the Suruvikin defensive line is just one of the many problems Ukraine has to face. In addition to these fortified defensive lines, Ukrainian army is being destroyed by Russian air superiority and, of course, Russian deception, or what they call it, mass Kirovka. These tactics involving the use of dummy equipment, decoys, disinformation, and deception operations to misdirect and confuse the enemy. <laughs> Вот я с пулемета здесь проложусь. 